going to be about the camshaft on a Kohler opposing twin tractor engine. So right now I'm going to show you basically how it works. First, we've got this gear, which is connected to the crankshaft. Then you got this gear, which is connected to the camshaft. So the crank will drive the camshaft. And there's twice as many teeth on this gear as on this gear. So it has, and the knobs are timed to get the right valve movement. So that'll go like that. So on it, there's four tabs that stick out. There's this one, kind of elliptical bumps. This one, this one, this one, and this one on the end. This one in here is not, it's just ground out, probably for balancing. These two things will be connected to the valve, and there'll be four of these. Two kind of like this we'll go for each stroke, and what it'll do is this will sit up against there, and as this turns, we'll push it down and then bring it back. And it, as it pushes it down, that's the valve movement. Where this would go in the engine, it's going to go right kind of above the crankshaft. If the crankshaft is here. It's going to go above and have the push rods go out because it's a opposing twin. So the cylinders are going to be like this. So then this one, this is going to be spinning like this and have the valves over there on the side. So this is like, this is pretty old stuff. Nowadays they have uh, overhead cams, dual overhead cams, and that's basically where there's one of these, or two of these, on both, on, on V engines anyway, on both banks of cylinders. So there's going to be two, one or two of these on each bank. So you could have, in a V8, you could have four camshafts. Whereas this opposing twin, you only have one. That's basically how the camshaft on a cooler opposing twin works. If I missed anything, leave a comment. If you have questions, leave a comment. And uh, check out my channel, because there might be something you like there.